A domestic violence case against Bruins Ford has been dropped. Hamalan Muchichi's trial for an assault charge ended as quickly as it began. TD Garden implements a new bag and security screening process. We'll talk about the new changes to the venue security policy. And residents of Franklin Park are filing a lawsuit against the city for a construction project they deem unconstitutional. We'll talk about all that right here on the Laser Exclusive. Welcome back to the Laser Exclusive. I'm your host, Josh Labrosse. We have a special show for you today, so let's get right into the laser headlines. A trial for domestic violence against Boston Bruins forward Milan Lucic has been dropped this past week at Boston Municipal Court. The 35-year-old was accused of assaulting his wife on November 18th in their apartment, where he was later arrested and pleaded not guilty to a charge of assault and battery of a family member. The start of the trial was set for Friday morning, but there was a debate over whether the use of a 911 call made by Lucic's wife could be used as a replacement for her testimony as she declined to testify at trial. The judge, however, made the decision to not go forward with the trial, hence dropping the charges against Lucic. TD Garden will be implementing a new bag and screening policy for all future events being held at the arena. New changes come amidst a new partnership between TD Garden and security tech company Evolve Technology. The new policy states that bags that are larger than 6 by 4 by 1.5 inches are no longer permitted in the venue, and guests who bring an oversized bag will have to pay $15 to store their belongings. Backpacks will also be prohibited from entering the arena. However, the policy allows for bags that are under the new size requirement, do not have to be see-through, and are permitted for entry, subject to a search and screening. Franklin Park residents and members of the Emerald Necklace Conservancy are filing a lawsuit against the city for the redevelopment of White Stadium for the use of a women's professional soccer team. Many residents are concerned over the reconstruction plans for the stadium, citing the timeline for the project and the environmental impact, as well as the fact that bringing in bigger crowds for this type of event to the surrounding park will affect neighbors who reside in these areas. Many critics also claim that paying for the project through a public-private partnership with the women's soccer team is not the solution for funding the project. That's all for the second episode for the spring semester. I'm Josh Labrosse. Join us next time for the biggest developments and stories happening across LaSalle, Boston, and around the world.